Do you need a logo? Let me guess, you don't really wanna spend a lot of money on it. Well, the good news is you do have options. Let me introduce you to Looka. Looka is a logo maker on an AI powered platform that can help you design a brand you love. This might be a little controversial coming from a designer since being a freelancer is how I predominantly make a living. However, I know that everyone's circumstance is different. You may be starting a side hustle and you don't have hundreds or thousands of dollars to spend on a logo. Finding a good freelancer can be tricky. So if you need a place to start, that's not gonna break the bank. You're gonna wanna check this out. On another note though, if you are a designer and you are looking for logo inspiration to generate some ideas, this tool can help you brainstorm as well. Before I show you Looka and what you can generate with it, my name is Michelle and I've been in the marketing game for close to 20 years now and I love to share what I've learned and the tools that I use with other entrepreneurs. So if this info resonates with you or if it feels helpful, please give the video a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. And if you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments. All right, let's dive in. All right, I'm gonna walk you through how to make a logo in Looka. And just be sure to check out the link in the description if you wanna get started making a logo for yourself. So once you log in, you will be prompted through the whole process. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna pick an industry. I'm gonna use Michelle the Creator as kind of the logo option I'm gonna roll with. So I'm gonna put in a few keywords here. Just gonna roll with design, marketing, and web design to start out with. I'll hit continue. Now this is where we're picking our inspiration logos. So when you're looking through these, if there are elements that you like about the logo, whether that be layout or where the icon is or the script fonts, don't lean too closely into exactly what they're looking like. If there is just the layout that you're kind of inspired by, things that you like, let's choose those. So it's like, I kind of like the simplicity of this one. I like that this is kind of split with a icon in the middle, like the layout of this. This is kind of cool. We'll just pick a few here. I like this one and this one. Okay. Let's continue on. You can look through all of those that you want, pick as many as you want. Let's talk colors. What are my vibes more of like a blue, teal, green? We'll just roll with these three options and then we'll continue. And then this is where we enter the company name. So this is something that you could play around with too. So watch when I put in Michelle the Creator here. I'm given this message that, oh, it would be better if you had a shorter name where you're like, well, this is my company name. So one of the things that you could try out is I'm gonna move this, the creator part as more of the slogan option. So like the tagline in the logo. So maybe this one becomes more prominent and then that's used as kind of like the subtext. So we'll try that out. So you do feel like, Feel free to play around a little bit with the breaking up of the name if it, if you get that message that it's too long. So we'll hit continue. Now we're gonna pick up to five symbols. So you can search for symbols or you can choose what they are kind of prompting you with. I'm gonna go with the design and then we are given a bunch of icons. This kind of reminds me of the Noun Project, which I think I'll actually leave a link in the description if you're not familiar with it because they have so many just different icon designs that you can search through for inspiration. And we're gonna choose five symbols. So let me figure out which one I think would even make sense at this point. This is kind of simple and fun. I like the fingerprint. Let's go with this idea pencil option. This is kind of unique. And then one more. I typed in web design just to see if I could find something different. We'll just roll with this one, why not? And then we'll hit continue. And now it's generating some logos. So this is kind of the area that you get to where even if you're just a designer and you're looking for some inspiration and you're not necessarily needing a logo to generate a logo necessarily, you're just looking for some inspiration, this is where it's gonna give you all of these ideas and it might spark something inside of you to work on and create. So we've got some pretty cool options and because I've split that text, you're seeing it more on two lines, which I really like this one. I don't I don't necessarily love the colors that are going on because it's a little hard to read. I do like the symbol. I think that's kind of cool. The simplicity of that's great. 
let's just I like the the uniqueness of the font there so they're they're giving you a lot of options and then if you don't like any of those you can load some more get some other ideas generating this kind of feels like I'm a detective not sure overall just a lot of cool ideas that you can kind of play with so let's go back to the top here that you have to be careful when you're scrolling because if you hit the back screen like I just did, it was going to regenerate all of the logos. They're mostly in the same format, but this was the one that I was going to refine a little bit further. You can see that the colors did change. So I'm going to hit customize on this one because I do like it. I think it's pretty cool. And now we're, we can actually see some brand essentials and seeing it in context, which I think is pretty cool. So what it might look like on a business card or on a social media platform. And you can have all of these options that is included in a brand kit subscription. So we'll we'll take a look at like the subscription options in a moment, but you're kind of getting a preview of what it could look like. And we've got a color palette going on here with some of the greens and blacks. How do I customize this a little bit if I don't necessarily like the color that it's it's chosen? So I can click this element here and I can even see I've got some options over here. So for font type, so if I do wanna switch that up and like try some different options, I can get a preview of what those fonts are looking like. So a lot of cool options, that's kinda cool. Um, that's kind of cool there. I mean, obviously I'm just going to, I don't want to keep saying that's kind of cool. Cause there's just a lot of just different things and directions that you could go with. And so if I click on the color tab, if I really want to explore some colors, you know, I might click on the teal here and see what options are generating from that. So there's a lot of options that I could roll with there so we could see what that looks like. If I click on this element down here, I am given the same. I can drill down on the fonts if I want to. I could adjust colors. Let's say we might want to throw in a gold. Who knows? We can start to preview and see what that looks like. So if I click on this option, then I've got this over here. I can do different things like lowercase the text. I can do the uppercase. I can switch the positioning if I want to. So there's a lot of options that you can start to make this exactly the way that you want it to look. And the good thing is, is that when you start to customize these things, they are gonna get saved in your saved logos. And so that you'll be able to come back to them later if you're like, oh, I can't deal with this right now. I need to, to think about it some. I'll, I'll swing back around in a bit. It'll be saved for you so that you can pick up where you left off. Let's say I love this and I'm ready to roll. How how do I move forward with getting my logo? So you only pay for the logos if you want to download them. So if I click on download, it's giving me this prompt about getting the brand kit and the download. So I'm gonna click on this and this is gonna pull up all of the pricing options. So let's kind of go through this. So their most popular package that they're highlighting right now is the brand kit subscription. And that is $96 a year. It looks like there might be a sale going on with this. And you're going to get a lot of options. So you're going to get multiple high res files. You're gonna get email signatures, business card options, social covers, letterheads, the whole nine yards for everything. If you went with a one-time purchase of $65, you're not gonna get kind of all of those bells and whistles, but you are gonna get the multiple files of the logos in full ownership and lifetime support, obviously, for the logo. The basic logo, it's only $20, so if you really just want the one file, you could do that. It's a low-res file. I think that's almost just not even worth it. Not saying that that's expensive, but it's like you're going to want more for sure. So if I were going to be spending money on a logo, I would say at least do the premium logo package, if not more. Just to put this in perspective, coming from a designer, I've made many a logos in my day. Starting out, you know, I charged a couple hundred dollars per logo. I've charged thousands of dollars for a logo design before. $96 for a logo? 
you're, you're not going to beat that price anywhere. If you need a custom option, sure, absolutely. Hire a freelancer. There's many freelancers like myself out there that is willing to create logo designs for you. We might not always be the most inexpensive option because, you know, we do have to charge for our time. But if you're looking for a logo and you're just like, I just need something. I don't need to spend a lot of time on it. Don't really want to spend a lot of money on it. $96 a year is going to be probably the most inexpensive option that you can find out there. So do I think it's worth it? 100%. It's absolutely worth it for $96. That that seems insane. And probably even more insane that a designer is telling you, hey, if you really do need a logo, like $96. But I know that there are so many different circumstances out there. Like everybody, you know, isn't always looking for the most amazing customized logo. And sometimes logos don't even necessarily matter. And that that kind of hurts my heart coming from um a, a, from a designer perspective. But it's it's honestly, if you just need something, if you're starting a side hustle and you're just like, I just need something to put in place and I don't necessarily need to spend a lot of time on it, then this is gonna be the perfect option, I think, for you. Because you're gonna get a great looking logo and you're gonna have the ability to customize it a little bit to exactly the way that you want it to look. And whether that's fonts, colors, choosing the symbol that you think most resonates with your, your brand, I think that this is an amazing option for you. If I want to back out and go, we can go to the saved logos and we can see that it's right there in our saved logos page. I can hit view all. I've done a few others that I was playing around with. So I can see that those are sa saved and I can continue to edit. If I want to remove them from my saved dashboard, I can definitely get rid of those and then I could purchase them at any time as well. So definitely let me know what you think. Is Luka an option for you? Is this something that you're going to play around with? Do know that you can absolutely generate some logos for free. You can generate logos without having to purchase anything. Just click the link in the description and you can check it out for yourself. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer whatever I can. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.